Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we got a great one for you today. It's a full width, full screen automated slider, as you can see. But each of our slides has a different animation on the content here. Slide one drops down from the top. Slide two is coming in from the right. Slide three, going to roll in. And slide four is going to flip in. And there's several different animations you can apply to this to make it happen. Really easy to do. Of course, it's fully responsive if I hit my F12 key here. Here it is on an iPhone. And let's have a look on an iPad Air. Here it is on an iPad. As you can see, it's going to work perfectly on all devices. So let's get started. I'm going to enable my Visual Builder. There's a couple of ways you can do this, but for today's, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna add a new section and hit this little purple button. The reason it's purple and not blue is because that's a full width section up there. I'm gonna insert a section. I'm gonna use another full width section. Slightly limited number of modules for full width sections, but in there is a full width slider, which is just exactly what we want. So I'm gonna pop that in. Great. Before I do anything else, let's just get rid of that one on the top there. And this is what we're left with. By default, it puts in two slides for you. If I go into the module, the dark tab here, there's the two slides. I'm going to delete one and we'll make it the way that we want it. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to make this full screen. I want it to be full screen on all devices. So what I'm going to do is go to design going to go down to sizing. I'm going to use minimum height for this so that if it needs to, if you've got more content, it can get bigger. I'm going to say minimum height 100 VH, which is viewable height. As you can see, that's made it the whole height of our screen there. And that'll be the same for any device it's displayed on. Great. Let's go back to our content now and design the slide how we want it. So I'm going to hit the little cog to go in the slide. Obviously put whatever title you want to put in at the top there. Put what you want your button to say down below. I'm going to leave this just as it is and put any content in there. This is WYSIWYG so you can bold, italicize, make bullet lists, add links and also add media if you want to. If you need to, you can add images and video down below. They will display on the left hand side. i just give you an example quickly if I pop an image in there. you'll see that it displays on the left hand side there. I'm not going to use that for mine today, but it is an option if you want to. Same thing for video right there. Now we've got a call to action button there to add a link to it. Just click on link down below. You can put a button link in there. If you want the whole slide to link somewhere, you can put a link in down here. And always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab. That way your site's going to stay open. Down below that, we've got background. I want to make this background a little bit more interesting. And you've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern, and background mask. And you can combine several of these together if you want to. Have a look at our Divi for Beginners playlist. We've got a whole video about making some amazing backgrounds with these. I'm just going to use an image for mine. Click on the background image. I'm going to hit add background image. Now let's pop in the image we want to pop in. Great. You can choose whether the background image covers. You can just make it fit, actual size, stretch. For mine today, that's absolutely perfect covering in the center. That's fine. Don't need it to repeat because it's covering the whole thing. And I'm not blending it with a background color or a gradient or anything like that. Fantastic. If we move over to our design here, if you've got a busy picture, you can add a little overlay to the background, which will make the text stand out a bit more. If I flip that to on, see it darkens it down slightly and that text stands out a little bit better. If I turn that back off, you can use one just over the text if you want to. As you can see, it puts a dark shade behind there, makes that text a little more legible also. I think I'm gonna go for the background overlay on mine because my images are quite busy. Navigation, well, it's not going to show up at the moment because we've only got one. It's the little arrows that we've got going on here. 
If we click on it, you can choose a color for the arrows. And you've also got dot navigation down below, which displays the little slides. And you can choose a color for those also. And you'll see those turn up once we add more slides. Okay, I'm not using an image for mine. Text is fine. I will make that title text a little different though. Let it stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to make it bold perhaps. I'm going to make it uppercase. Let's make it 50 pixels in size. If you need to, you can change the size of it on all different devices by simply rolling over. And this is common to all Divi modules, sections and rows. If you hover over dark writing within these, you'll see some little icons appear. If there's a little mobile phone type icon, there is in our case, we can click on it, set a different value for tablet, roll up so you can see it, and a different value for mobile if you want to. And you can do that with most of the settings here. I'm happy to leave it just like it is, as my title's fairly small there, in the amount of letters that it contains. Great, well I'm fairly happy with that, so let's just add a few more slides. To do that, just hit green check mark. I'm going to hit the clone, clone it a couple of times. Then we'll just go with four. We're going to go into the second one, change the title to two. I'm just going to change the background image. I'll pause this and do the other two. Okay, I just added my last one there. Let's save that. It'll take us back to the main full width slider settings here. And we've got four slides now. You'll notice when I hover over now, we've got more slides. There's the little arrows I was talking about. If I roll down, there's a little pagination dot down the bottom. You can change those colors where I showed you. Of course, you can do that individually on all slides if you want to. You can have different color arrows, but I'm going to leave mine just as they are. Of course, I now want this to ro rotate automatically. I want it to be an automated slider. So make sure you're in the full width slider settings. It's really important. Make sure you're not in one of your slides here. Go over to Design, down to Animation, and you'll see a little switch that says Automatic Animation. Now, a question that I always get when I make these sliders is, I can't find it or my slide doesn't have it. Chances are, if you don't see this button, you're in one of your slides. If I go to my content or into one of my slides now, Design, there's no animation down the bottom there. If that's the case, just hit the little green check mark, make sure you're back in your full width slider settings design tab there's the animation at the bottom okay well let's flip this to on by default it does it every seven seconds which is seven thousand milliseconds i'm going to leave it just like that if you want to speed it up put a lower value in if you want to slow it down put a higher value in continue automatic slide on hover that's set to off so that when they put the mouse on it on the front end it's going to stop so they can read the writing and click on the button if they need to if you want it to keep rolling you can flip that from off to on but i prefer it to be off like it is so it gives them a chance to actually read that writing etc okay well let's save our changes here see what we've got on the front end i'm going to hit the little purple button save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder and here it is, it's coming, it's starting to rotate round now. But the animations on our content there are all exactly the same. It's just sliding up from the bottom, which is fine. But to add a little bit of extra interest, I'd like mine to have different animations for the content on each slide. Now I've got a load of animations we can apply over here. And I'll put these down below the video for anybody that wants to use them. That animation none is great if you want the same text over all of your background slides. It'll take the animation away totally. And you can just have the image changing in the background. But we'll apply a couple of these to our slides and I'll show you exactly what you can get. So let's re-enable the visual builder. And we'll go back into our little slider module, dark tab for the module again. Let's go into our first slide. Over to advanced and custom CSS. We want to go over to the module elements tab and it'll give us before, main element after, slide title, slide description container and slide description, button and image. I'm going to go to the slide description here. I'm going to copy 
whichever of these animations you want. Let's have it fading in for the top, perhaps this one. Control C to copy. In the slide description box, Control V to paste. We can save that back to our main one. Let's put a different one on the second one. Over to advanced custom CSS, module elements. Slide description. Put a different one in there. Fade in left, perhaps. We'll save that one. We'll go to our third one. Advanced. I'm sure you get the idea. Turn to the description. Let's perhaps have this one flip in X. It's going to flip in around the X axis. We'll go to our last one and perhaps have this one flipping around the opposite axis, the Y axis. Custom CSS. Down in the description there. Get our codes up, flip in Y. And there we have it. We'll save this. We'll save the main slider settings. We can now exit the Visual Builder. And see what we've got. Here's our first one dropping down from the top. Our second one should be coming in. That's sliding in from the left hand side. We'll have a third slide coming up. And I've got mine set to seven seconds, I think. That one's sort of rolling in or flipping in on the X axis. And the last one, it's going to flip in on the Y axis. And that's great. We've got a full width slider that's animating, it's rolling around. And we've got a different little animation on each of those slides. Nice little feature. And as you saw earlier on, you can make this absolutely responsive. Here it is on the iPad Air, rolling around, got those little animations. Let's have a little look on an iPhone. Here it is on the iPhone. Now, whenever you make sites and you're checking the responsiveness on them, it's always a good idea to check it on the actual device. These will get you pretty close and in most cases they'll work. But on the actual devices, occasionally you're going to need to adjust it slightly, take the text up or text down because it may be too big or too small. But this does get you a long way there. So let's get rid of our little inspector here. And there it is. There is how to create a full width, full screen, animated slider with different animations on the content for each slide. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.